Catalan opening, open defense, classical line, 6.0000. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. The Catalan opening is a slower, more positional opening where white prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on g2, where it will help control the center. The pawn on e4 is under attack as d5 occupies space in the middle. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. Nf3 controls the e5 square, advances the knight toward the center, and helps the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The move dxc4 liberates the center and takes the c4 pawn. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That was a free pawn. This kicks an opposing queen. This moves the queen to safety. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. This move puts the queen on a safer square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This is the only move that works. It is the last book move. This defends the pawn that was attacked. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. It's alright. That's good. This disregards a superior method of strengthening a weak pawn's defense. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That's good. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to gain a pawn. That falls flat. This passes up a chance to move a piece to safety. It falls flat. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. It's alright. That's good. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. 
among the best actions. It is quite good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is quite good. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is quite good. This makes it impossible for the adversary to gain a pawn. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the bishop off the board. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a rook threat. It is incorrect. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This fails to take use of the chance to move a rook to safety. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This would be a missed chance to move a piece to safety. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This loses a pawn. This threatens to win a bishop. It is a blunder. This wins a pawn. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This moves the checking pawn farther away. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. That's good. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. This loses material. This allows the opponent to create an x-ray attack through two pieces. It is an inaccuracy. By doing this, an x-ray attack is sent through two of the adversary's pieces. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That rook earns material if it is captured. It is ideal. Backs off. Black is losing because the end game has begun. It is quite good. 
This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is quite good. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. This comes in several sections. It is quite good. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is quite good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.